Um, let's find out what's on the cinema tonight and over the weekend. Robbie Cohen uh, is here, as he is every Friday. Morning to you. Morning. Right, what's got you going this week? Well, it's a big week for Brits at the cinema this week. We've got um, the, the biggest film out is How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, which is uh, a comedy starring Simon Pegg, who, uh, you know, ten years ago he was writing a sitcom for Channel 4. Now he's, uh, you know, the romantic lead in a huge Hollywood film, which is this amazing uh, rise uh, in popularity. He's basically a journalist who goes out from London to uh, New York to work for a magazine called Sharps and thinks he's going to entertain everyone with a bit of uh, acid British wit and irreverence right. and just goes down like an absolute lead balloon. This is the, it's the life of Toby Young, That's right, it, yeah. over, it's, over there, the journalist. It's loosely based on Toby Young's book. I mean, they've changed a lot of stuff, uh, you know, changed a few names and a few incidents and stuff, but it's, it's, it's just about the same kind of story. Okay. But, you know, uh, rather than have me talk about it, we, we actually went down to the set while they were filming and had a word with Simon and also uh, Kirsten Dunst as co-star. So uh, let's have a look. OK, here we go. Hi, GMTV. Um, sorry I can't be there today, um, but here at least is a little look behind the scenes of my new film, How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> It's based on the book by Toby Young of the same name. Um, I play Sydney, who's kind of loosely based on Toby, who goes to New York to work for a Vanity Fair style magazine and um, gets into all sorts of terrible scrapes by continually embarrassing himself. Along the way, he meets Alison Olsen, Olsen, who also works at Sharps and um, basically is semi forced to babysit his character, and um, they kind of have um, a playful hate relationship. Which yes. turns into a friendship more and turns into something else. Girls like Sophie do not date journalists. As far as she's concerned, they're the help. Oh, what, what do you know? Anyway, a lot of these starlets are lonely. You know, all they do is look around for men. <laughs> this is New York, Sydney. Women only date men who are successful. I'm going to be successful. And tall. Yeah. We're doing a scene in, in the offices in, in New York um, where I am pitching a, a silly idea to uh, Clayton Harding, played by okay. Jeff Bridges. Yes, him. <laughs> Paris Hilton. I do a profile on her as if she's this complete recluse. <laughs> like, like a hermit, you know? I'm tracking her down. Who is the elusive Paris Hilton and why is she so publicity shy? Because <laughs> it's a... <laughs> you know, okay. Because just changing it. That's first room stuff, Sydney. And call me Clay one more time, see what happens. It's Jeff's first day, isn't it, today? It's Jeff's first day. He makes eye contact with me in one scene, which is exciting for Holy me. Holy heck. I mean, every day I pretty much laugh till I cry, so that's a good thing. I met you at the V yeah, Festival. Yeah, we met, yeah. Was it the V Festival? You don't remember that, because I wasn't famous. Well, yeah, exactly. I only pay attention to famous people. No, you, <laughs> you had no reason to remember me other than my, you know. Like, I, I, I know for a fact you had a kind of, who was that guy kind of moment. Right, like, know, he oh, must be somebody. I wish we, I'd had more time with him. Right. And, uh, you know, <laughs> the universe provides. It, it, it looks like it, it could be a, a fun watch, quite an easy watch. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Simon Pegg's a very, very funny man. He, he, I bet he can't believe where he's ended up. You know, I know, Hollywood I know. Star. He's and such and a the irony of it is, he's, it's, it's the exact opposite of what happened to Toby Young. You know, he's gone across there made friends all over the place. He's yeah. in the uh, Star Trek remake as well in, uh, in yeah. May. Okay, so Brit's doing well over there. There's more of it. That's